Well, this is Bob Davis 321 coming to visit you once again. Um, tonight we're doing on the left we have a common anode, that's the driver transistors, versus on the right we have common cathode using the ULN2803. So I'm actually able to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Now it's not quite fair because the right has four layers and the left only has two layers so far. Um, also the left driver has a 7.4 LS14 uh, inverter because uh, everything has to be inverted for the common anode. It's interesting if it's on the back two layers it doesn't show up on the left. So anyways this is doing a side-by-side -side comparison between common anode and common cathode arrangements. And uh, they're very similar, but I would say the common anode is just a tiny bit brighter. In both cases I'm using 74595s to drive the LEDs with no driver transistors. They're coming right off the 595. The only difference is, like I said, the common cathode is using a ULN 2803 and the common anode is using eight TIP 127s. The incredible thing is the 5 volt power supply in the Arduino is powering this board, this thing, and it's like, uh, yeah, that's kind of excessive power for it. Anyways, there we are, side-by-side -side comparison of common anode and common cathode. Now I need to build two more layers on the common anode and then uh, daisy-chain them together instead of running them in parallel. But I would say the common anode is just a tiny bit brighter. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to turn the lights off. Because if you think this is bright, you ain't seen nothing yet. This is just incredibly bright. The colors are so much more vivid than what this camera will do. And I don't know, maybe if I had a camera on more of an angle. No, you just can't see the colors at all. The only way to see how colorful the thing is to see it in reality or live. Because what happens is the camera sees the brightness of the LED and then turns down the brightness and thus makes it look not as bright as it really is. But anyways, that's the fun of my 8x8. By now I'm up to six layers. I'm going to give you a close-up shot, just in case you want to see. Let's see, it's 7.4. 595s just run the arrays through uh, 50 ohm current limiting resistors. It was a close up of the common anode drive. It's a 7414 inverter followed by a 74595 separating out the layers to the eight driver transistors. And then here's the uh, common cathode drive 74595 running a ULM 2803. More fun every day. We're up to six layers. Two more to go to be eight by eight by eight. Fun, fun, fun. That's all for now.